911, where is your emergency? Oh, there's some guy been um, taking the place out. Uh, I just killed my mom and my sister. 58 year old male, sound breather, unconscious, not breathing, comatose, Um, Yes, my husband fell and I cannot get him up. My, my wife has a um, pituitary tumor and she feel bad violently vomiting right now. Gather her medications, now so meet the paramedics. And if he gets worse in any way, call us back immediately for further instructions, okay? Okay, thank you. Hi, my name is Mabel. I am a supervisor at the Claremont County Department of Public Safety Services 911 Center. Today I would like to talk to you about when to call 911, what information is needed from you to help expedite sending the police, fire, and ambulance to assist you. First, let's talk about when to call 911. 911 should only be used in an emergency. An emergency is any situation that requires immediate response from the police, fire department, or an ambulance. There is no cost to you to call 911. If you are ever in doubt, call 911. It is best to be safe and let the dispatcher determine if it is an emergency. Here are a few examples of when to call 911. Any medical emergency, any type of fire, even if it has been extinguished, crimes in progress, someone breaking into a residence or any type of structure, domestic disputes, fights. Now we want to talk about how 911 calls are received and processed in the 911 center. Before you need help in an emergency, be sure to understand how the type of phone you use affects your call to 911. It is important to know the capabilities of the device you are using, a landline, cellular, or VoIP. Calls that are received on the traditional home phones or landline phones usually display your address immediately upon being answered by 911. The dispatcher will verify the address of your emergency by asking, where is your emergency? 911, where is your emergency? Cell phones may not automatically tell 911 where you are, so be prepared to provide detailed information about your location. The first question the dispatcher will ask is, where is your emergency? Be prepared to give information on your location. The dispatcher will verify this information by having you repeat the location of your emergency twice. Always remember that a cell phone may not have a clear voice connection and further complicates communicating with the dispatcher. Depending on the signal strength and location, the dispatcher may be able to receive what is called a phase two cell call, which means the location of your cell phone call can be located on a map to help in verifying your location. VoIP or voice over internet provider are calls from phones or devices through an internet connection. The rules of these are different depending on the device and the provider. Please check with the VoIP service provider for information on how 911 address information is sent when making a 911 call. The current 911 system is designed for voice communications only. Texting 911 is not an option. You must dial 911 and speak with a call taker. The first question you will be asked regardless of the device the call is made from is where is your emergency? Providing a street name and number is the best information. If the emergency is at a location you are not familiar with, give the best information you can by using landmarks, business names, or ask someone around you. The phone number we can reach you at, just in case we get disconnected. If this is a police-related emergency, such as a crime in progress, give a brief description of what occurred and where exactly the incident occurred. How long ago did it occur? Did the suspects have any weapons? Are the suspects still there? Were the suspects on foot or in a vehicle? What did the suspects look like? If the suspects left, what direction was the suspects headed? You will be asked descriptions of the suspects involved. If there is more than one suspect, describe each suspect one at a time. Gender, race, age, height and weight, hair color, the length, clothing, facial features such as a mustache, beard, glasses, etc. Any distinguishing scars, marks, or tattoos, vehicle description, the color, make, model, and the license plate. Answer the question the best that you can. We may keep you on the line until the officer arrives so we can continue to get information to keep the officers updated. Do not hang up until the dispatcher tells you it is okay to do so. Follow the instructions of the dispatcher and remain calm. When you are calling for a medical emergency, you will be asked the following questions. Where is your emergency? What's the phone number you are calling from, just in case we get disconnected? Okay, tell me exactly what happened. Are you with the patient now? If the patient is not the person calling, how old is the patient? Is he or she awake? Is he or she breathing? 
With a calm caller, this usually takes about 30 seconds to get through the initial questions. As soon as these questions are answered, the fire and EMS units are dispatched to you. The dispatcher will explain to you that help is on the way, do not hang up, I have additional questions I need to ask. These questions are part of the emergency medical dispatch system and all of our dispatchers are emergency medical certified. All the information gathered by the questions help the first responders to be more informed and prepared to help you when they arrive on the scene. Remember, help is not being delayed while these questions are being asked. The emergency medical certified dispatcher can also give you instructions on how to do CPR if needed, help you with what to do to control bleeding, instructing you to give aspirin to people who are having chest pain, these instructions can help you until medical personnel arrive on the scene. Help us help you by dialing 911 during an emergency. There is no cost to call 911. Be familiar with the device you are using to call 911. Being prepared to provide a good address. Answer the questions the best that you can. Remember, help is not being delayed to answer a lot of questions. If you don't know the answer, that's okay. Just say, I don't know. If you have a question about the video or need additional information, you can contact us at our non-emergency number, 513-732-2231, or visit us on the web at com.claremontcountyohio.gov.